folks, it's Clinton Moss here with Gunner Energy Services, and I got a cool case study for you guys today. Let's take a moment, relax, pour up a cup of coffee, because I promise y'all this is going to be something very interesting that you haven't seen before. So folks, this case study involves a plug and abandonment operation through an intervention well, okay? And it occurred, what's very important to us, you know, kind of significant, literally on the other side of the world. So 8,000 miles from where I am standing right here today at our home base in California is the job site. It's in a gas field in Australia, 8,000 miles from where I am right here. And what was the situation with that particular well? What was the issue? So let's talk about that. The well itself, it was not leaking or it didn't blow out or anything like that, but it had a damage in the well bore. So down, halfway down the well bore, there was damage, corrosion, these type of things. And when they tried to plug the wells, typically you work down from surface, uh, you know, rig up the rig over the well, work down, and then put cement deep in the well, cement yourself out of the hole. But if the well is damaged and you have, you know, a collapse casing or corrosion or whatever the case may be, you might encounter an obstruction exactly as this customer did so they couldn't get the cement deep down in the well to plug it. So what the customer wanted to do here was repurpose this old field to inject uh, produced water. But you can't do that in an old well if that water could leak back into other zones or back to surface. So in that case, folks, what happens when uh, a concentric reentry and abandonment is not possible? Well, in that case, folks, we skid the rig and we drill an intervention well. So we drill and magnetically range against the target. Now, what you have to do here is plan these wells from the bottom up. In that well, there was a packer. It was a horizontal well, okay, build, and, uh, uh, build to horizontal with, a, with a, uh, a, a very significant curve section. So, and, and in that build section, there was a packer. So we have to come in underneath the packer, you see, folks to make sure that the cement is where it needs to be. So what we did is we came down drilling, ranging against the target, and we performed a barrel roll. You'll see it here behind me now, isn't that cool? So to, to triangulate to the target and get a very precise alignment at that intercept point deep down in the well, okay? That was at 57 degrees, a high angle intercept where the Angle of attack had to be precise. Why? Because we need to mill a hole back into the target, we call it an aperture, and we had to get tools back inside to perforate and then get that cement uh, in the proper zone to plug the well. So folks, it's amazing, isn't it? Just uh, you know, a, a total barrel roll and landing a curve on top of a curve within a fraction of a degree of accuracy to allow us that cut that slot, go back in there, perforate, put tubing inside, and put the cement where it needs to be so that well is permanently plugged. So folks, uh, it was a fantastic job for us, and something that I wanna kinda outline was uh, the honor and pleasure it was for me and my team to be able to work on the other side of the world in Australia for this customer. You know, as a Canadian kid growing up, I didn't know anything about Australia. I just thought it was all, you know, crocodile, Dundee, and kangaroos. But I'm happy to report uh, the Australians, uh, you know, were a beautiful people. It was an amazing country. And we had a sophisticated and professional customer that allowed us to do our jobs and deliver this fantastic result. So folks, for all your plug and abandonment needs, one call does it all, call Gunner Energy Services, and thank you very much for watching.